Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my video. Welcome again. Thank you for joining and thank you for looking at my last video. I have not done one in a while, so I just thought I'll do a quick one today. Today's my birthday and I am I'm not going to say how old I am, but <laughs> I am really blessed and happy that I was able to see another day and I hope you're all doing well and having a good day as well. So let's get on to the video. Today's topic is about those wonderful aunties who just love to help you find someone because they feel that, you know, you haven't found anyone yet and it's time for you to get married. So, you know, all those aunties that are like, you know, saying, hey, dear, you know, how come you didn't find anyone yet? Are you married? You're not married yet? Oh, how come? You know, they're great. They have some good intentions and it's... um sometimes a little frustrating because you kind of hate it when you always have to go to someone's house or visit someone um, at, uh, at a birthday occasion or dinner occasion or whatever occasion it is, you go to someone's place or they come to your place and the first thing they ask you is, so are you married yet? Did you find anyone? You know, and it's the constant, you know, question that you get anywhere you go. It doesn't matter where you go. Whether they're related to you or not, they're asking you the question, are you married yet? How come? Okay. so. I think um, they have a lot of good intentions. I'm not saying anything is wrong with the aunties, you know, trying to help you find someone. Uh, you have the aunties who are not really your auntie, but you know, you call them aunties because you know they're older than you. So those are the ones who are like, please to be the law aunties. You know, they want to do it for the sake of Allah. They want to help you. They want to help you find someone. Um, at the same time, they don't know you very well, and you know, they have all these connections that they say they have and um they have their own views and thoughts of how you should you know find someone and how you, the type of person that would be good for you because even though you say yeah you know you like this 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 they'll be like oh no no but this guy is better or whatever right and then you have the other aunties who are like the um the ones who are like they used to be the feast to be little uh, aunties and then they're like oh, i'm now gonna just charge you a fee auntie okay the ones who are like you know they want to make some money out of it because you know it does take a lot of time to help you find someone and that's great so we have the the auntie now who is charging a fee right so the one who's charging a fee you have to wonder how much are you paying for this person to help you find someone right and what are they doing to even like deserve that type of money so i was at this conference and there was a lady there who was um i guess she was going around handing her cards out and she was letting people know that she actually is a matchmaker and she's trying to help people you know find someone now i asked her you know what she was offering and what she did and what her fees were and she was telling me that you know she started off you know doing it fee sabilala okay so i asked her well, what is your fee and her fee was around a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a month okay so a hundred dollars a month per person and you would try she would basically try to help you you know within that month or month to month i guess so she'll help you as much as she can and each month you would pay her a hundred dollars right and then when you finally do find a match it doesn't end there okay when you find the match and she's you know everything's going great you know the match is settled and you know, everyone decided it's good and they're going to get married then she charges you another fee which is a one-time fee and this one-time fee will be the last fee you pay her because you've been successfully you know matched with someone and you've set a date to get married and that's it so and I'm I'm thinking in my mind okay so you've already charged this person hundred dollars a month and then at the end when they finally find a match and you're actually already charging them to find a match by the way when they find the match that you know that they want to get married to uh, you charge them another fee and so I was like why are you charging them again and <laughs> she's like well you know it takes a lot of time and effort to go and go through the whole process and you know um, it's a lot of people. It's not just one person. It's more than one person she has to handle. So if a person is going to get a match for you and look for you, they don't know these people one-on-one, -on -one, right? They are getting these people from another person. So they're going to another person who's going to let them know who they know and then let you know, and then you guys start talking. And so these people don't know the, a lot of matchmakers now are deciding to join websites matrimonial websites where they have people that are seriously looking and they pay a fee to join the website. So these matrimonial, uh, these matchmakers are paying a fee to join the website. And then they are creating an account for themselves, which is actually for the person they're looking for. So a lot of times there's two ways they can do it. They can create it for that person. Um, I don't know if the person even knows if they are being 
put on a website first, right? So they're creating that profile for the person. They'll put a picture about the person and some information about them. Or they'll create a profile for the person, but don't put a picture up. Um, and some a lot and sometimes too they also would mention that yeah i'm doing this for someone else okay that's fine because at least you know it's not you but a lot of times they're posting it as themselves that they're looking but it's not really them because when they start contacting the people who are looking on the website it's more like hey how are you i know someone that's good for you kind of thing and that's that's what they're doing and they're paying a very low low fee um for about twenty dollars a month to the bare minimum of seven dollars a month that they're paying to join a website to find someone for you who paid them a hundred dollars don't want to go through that if you're like think, thinking you know twice about it then try um matrimonial websites that actually cater to you know people who are actually seriously looking to get married thank you so much again for looking at my video have a great day assalamualaikum